Congratulations on your election. I think today is a historic day for our country, and I think it is the start of a new chapter. A new chapter of building, a new chapter of cooperation, a new chapter of us putting our country and its interests and its future first. In this election, the voters chose not to give any party its own majority. In doing so, they have told us that they want us to work together to build a prosperous, non-racial, united South Africa with a growing economy that works for everybody. We contested because we wanted to demonstrate to South Africa that we do not agree to this marriage of convenience to consolidate the white monopoly power over the economy and the means of production in South Africa. This marriage, it's a marriage that seeks to undermine the changing of property relations in South Africa. We refuse to sell out. We have never done so when we are young and we are not going to do so today. We don't have a history of being collaborators. We are going to ensure that this parliament is functional. This is the beginning of a new era. The IFP stands ready to serve in the government of national unity, knowing that South Africa is utterly changed by the 2024 election results and the decisions that have been taken in the best interest of our country. This country has gotten another chance And when you get a second chance, you must use it optimally. I think the voters gave all of us a second chance. I would like to congratulate the ANC for accepting the result, even if they didn't get 50%. The world is full of stories of presidents that only accept results when they get over 50%. I will support the GNU, and I'm proud of the GNU. The problems facing this country are well documented and they require a Marshall Plan to tackle them with a sound implementation strategy. Laziness and lack of discipline must not characterize the new government and its administration. Magyo sa jansang ko, ang gusto.